Hello everyone and welcome back to another video for Destiny 2 Season of the Dawn. Today we'll be going over the Bright Future Bounty which you can obtain from Saint-14 today during the reset. This bounty is quite easy and will introduce us to the Imperium Foundation, so go ahead and pick it up. While you're here, just pick up a few bounties because why not? We need a, a lot of Polarized Fractaline as is. So what you want to do first is you want to load up the Sundial and fight the new boss, Oblivion's Tribune. Yes? Load up the sundial, of course, you can do, uh, you know, normal or legend. Doesn't really matter what, personally, I just loaded up normal because I didn't want to get my ass beat, etc, etc. So once you load that up, simply proceed all the way to the end, and once you fight the boss, you'll notice that he is using all three powers of the scions. During this, the scions will end up, you know, kicking your ass, essentially, and it is a little bit of a toss-up on which powers he'll use at a certain time, but once you do enough damage to him, you'll end up getting teleported into an arena with each separate Scion that you need to fight. He, It's still going to show that he's white, because he's all of them fused together. That's fine. To do damage to him, what you want to do is you want to go from plate to plate and unlock his shield, essentially. This will bring down his shield, so you'll be able to do damage to him. Just rinse and repeat until he is dead. Overall, this fight isn't too challenging. On Legend, he does present a little bit more of a danger because his solar darts do a lot more damage because it is solar this week, so you want to watch out for that. Of course, you know, he's a little bit of a pushover on the normal difficulty besides that. And once you kill him, you'll be able to proceed through the quest. For the next part of the quest, we need to generate 30 orbs of light. This doesn't present that much of a problem, but, you know, just do whatever you need to do. Guns or supers, I just loaded up Legend difficulty for the new Sundial challenge, mainly due to the fact that, well, I already needed to do it for a Triumph anyways. So once you generate 30 Orbs of Light, our next step is to then go to the tower and talk to the Obelisk. I say talk to the Obelisk because, you know, you need to interact with it, and attune the Obelisk in the tower. Obviously, it's going to tell you something about there's an obelisk that you can't find yet, something like that. I don't know what that's going to allude to, but we'll see down the line during this season. We still have about 30-something days left, so simply accept for Lantern in the Dark. If you're still wanting to invest your Polarized Fractaline, make sure you do not get the uh, amount that is from here and just skip that entirely. After you're done this, what you want to do is you then want to go to talk to Osiris. That's the next step, and he will end up giving you about a mini cutscene, I want to say. The reason I say cutscene is just because, well, there's a little bit of a cutscene in it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to shut up and let you guys enjoy it. So if you don't want to watch it, simply click ahead a few minutes through the video, and I'll see you guys in a bit. Sagira asked me to thank you for cleaning up another of my messes. Obviously, I don't see it that way. All that happened with the Sundial was necessary to achieve this outcome, including the return of Saint-14. What you've achieved here on Mercury, I'm only beginning to believe. The future I saw in the Infinite Forest, when all this began, the subatomic annihilation of the... And perhaps you've prevented it. I pray that you have, because no hero or weapon could defeat that emptiness. Go. Run your strike missions, your crucible training. Live your life while you can. And that's it guys, that's the new questline for the Imperium Foundation, as well as fighting the new Scion. I kind of left out majority of the fight and just fast forwarded through it because I want you guys to live through it. It's a really fun fight and honestly I like it as one of the best in Destiny 2. I use best loosely just because the boss fights in Destiny 2 are pretty repetitive. But that's been the video guys, so do me a favor, hit that like button, subscribe if you're new, hit the notification box, I'm posting Destiny, daily Destiny content for Season of the Dawn, the dawning and everything between. Comment down below if this helps in any way shape or form and as always guys have a great day and peace out In